Animate Diff Lightning Review in Stable Diffusion Comfy UI. ByteDance has recently been making aggressive moves in the field of AI. We previously discussed SDKSL Lightning, which was created by ByteDance. They have also developed an AI model called Depth Anything for detecting depth in camera motions. Additionally, they have introduced Animate Diff Lightning, which appears to be a series of AI models using the term Lightning. These models work fast, especially when using low sampling steps and CFG settings. They allow for the creation of steady, stable animation with minimal flickering. But wait. After test and review and discuss with our community friends in Discord, I find out something else. Usually, other might going to tell you, Oh, this is a new AI model. We are all hype up, man. But for Animate Lightning? Well, I can describe as this. As girl in a nightclub, you saw her. She looks attractive and tell you, Okay, one time, one time only, quick and fast. I gonna go soon. And on the other side, Animate LCM is like a sweet girlfriend you can repeat and repeat. You spend more time, add more detail, she will show you more. I mean animation, don't get me wrong. So today I will be using these models and comparing their performance. First, let's explore the model card on the hugging face. Starting with Animate Diff Lightning, it is a lightning fast text to video generation model. However, it's important to note that Animate Diff Lightning is built on the animated if SD 1.5 version 2. Therefore, this model run on SD 1.5 models. When selecting checkpoint models or control net models, you should check that with SD 1.5 compatible. This is the rule for this model, not for SDXL. Animate Diff Lightning operates on a low sampling step, including two step, four step, and X step processes similar to SDXL Lightning. There is also a one-step modeling option available for research purposes only. I believe that the one-step Lightning may not have a significant effect on the motions or produce notable motion changes. Therefore, this time, I will try the eight-step models to test the highest sampling step model. Let's give it a try. They provide a sample demo page link on the Hugging Face platform where you can try it out. This link is specifically for text to videos generation. I will personally test this model in Comfy UI. Now, let's discuss the recommendations for checkpoint models. Based on their extensive research and analysis of large datasets, they have found that for realistic styles, certain field models perform well. They specifically mention that the two-step model with three sampling steps produces the best results. Unfortunately, they do not provide much information about the CFG settings, so we will have to experiment with our own CFG numbers. Additionally, they recommend using Motion LoRa, which can be found on the official animated Diff Hugging Face page. Here's some code provided for integrating the model in Python, but we won't be using that for now. The author of Anime Lightning has created a workflow that we can test. You can import that workflow for a basic text to videos workflow. I suggest conducting a quick test using this workflow to assess the performance of the models in text to videos generation. I would like to mention how we implement the Anime Diff Motions model. The process is fairly straightforward. When we download other motions models, we simply place them in the animated models folder. After completing the text to video generation, we move on to the exciting part, video to video generation. Now they have also created an open post workflow, but I personally have my own workflow. As many of you know, I have worked on various video to video workflows, experimenting with different versions and styles. Hence, I have been using my own workflow, which involves open pose and more. We will explore that workflow later because honestly, the provided one seems quite messy to me. I prefer a more organized approach. We will test this model with the full versions of my Flickr free animated video to video workflow that I have created. Let's get started. To begin, I downloaded all the necessary files for these videos. Firstly, the animated Lightning 8 step in Comfy UI, which includes the saved tensor files. Additionally, we need the motions model. Now, pay close attention to this step. 
Please refrain from asking me about this after I finish the videos and return. Instead, refer back to these instructions. Now, navigate to the files and go to the Comfy UI folders. Click on the specified file. This will download the workflow files, specifically the JSON file for the animated lightning video to video open pose workflow. Please note that this JSON file is for the typical text to video workflow. It is essential not to confuse it with the AI model files, such as the motions model mentioned earlier. The motions model should be saved as the specified saved tensor files. If you are using Comfy UI, ensure that you download the correct version of Animated Diff Lightning labeled for Comfy UI. It's crucial to pay attention to these details to avoid downloading unnecessary files or encountering issues. I have already downloaded the required files and they are located here. Next, I have the animated sample available here, which is obtained from the model cart as well. You can try it out. All these links are accessible on the model card page. I also have their workflow, which we can test. So the first thing I'll be testing is the text to videos workflow. Then we'll move on to the videos to videos open post. We'll see if this messy kind of custom notes approach is acceptable or not. If not, I will modify my workflow that I created specifically for using open post only, a lightweight workflow. To begin, we need to locate the motion files in Comfy UI. I currently have Comfy UI open here, and in my version of custom notes, I locate the motions model in the custom notes folder. Let's find it. Wow, I have quite a lot of files here. I'll take some time to find my animated diff evolve model. Once located, I need to place the motions model in this folder. That's how I prefer to do it. Some people download a fresh new setup of Comfy UI and place the motions model directly in the models subfolder of animated models with the latest versions of animated evolve. However, I don't use this approach. I stick to the old way, the legacy way, of placing it inside the custom notes folder here. Both methods work, so it doesn't really matter. Now let's navigate to the config UI and try this out. We have the text to videos workflow right here. By default, this workflow is set to use the four sampling step Comfy UI motions model. Let's refresh this page and we should see the X step option here. Hopefully we can find my X step option right here. Animated lightning eight step in comfy UI. This is the one we'll be testing in this video. In the animated loader section, they load the sampling step. We can use absolute reality or we can choose other options. Let's go for SD 1.5 and select realism style checkpoint model. As they recommended in the documentation, Yes, so we can try using this option instead of realistic visions. As you can see, my videos always use realistic visions, which can be a bit boring for you guys. Let's switch to something else and give it a try. Let's say we want a girl smiling in a spaceship. Okay, so we need to define that clearly. NSFW, not safe for work, negative prompts, and text watermarks will all be in the negative prompts category as well. It seems they recommend using SGM Uniform as the scheduler, so we should follow that recommendation for the first time. Now, let's look at the steps. They are using a four-step sampling, but we will be using an eight-step sampling. Let's see how it performs with the X-step CFG. They have set the CFG value to one by default, as it is the fastest, and ignores negative prompts. However, Feel free to explore different CFG values. Since the speed doesn't matter to me when using text to videos with a small image size like this, let's try using CFG value 2. The batch size will be 16, meaning 16 image frames will be generated at a frame rate of 8 frames per second, 8 FPS. For this case, we don't need an MP4 format. A GIF will be sufficient and I don't want to save it either. Now let's click on generate as you can see here. It seems to have loaded successfully. Obviously this is working. 
And uh, here's a little cute girl in a small spaceship. Okay, it looks very smooth. It's not going for the ultra realistic crazy stuff, but it's still decent. Let's add some more movement actions. Let's say the girl is jogging or running in Central Park. Let's give it a try and see. Okay, yeah, this is what I've been talking about when comparing animated diff with SVD, Stable Videos Diffusions. SVD cannot always generate realistic body movements like the legs actually moving. SVD mainly focuses on camera panning motions. We discuss this in our Discord group and communities. We've realized that this is a common factor that makes SVD less attractive. The lack of realistic body movements is the main reason. Animated diff, on the other hand, provides better results even with a very low sampling step. We are still able to show character actions where the legs are actually running without any blur or twisting, avoiding deformation. Yeah, it looks pretty smooth, even at low resolutions. When you zoom out like this, it still looks good. We can try the other workflow. Actually, this one is very beginner friendly in Comfy UI, so let's give it a try. All right, let's try using this one as well. I have the real cartoon 3D model here. Actually, I can use this one. Ah, uh, it's right here. And then we have the DW post. Of course, that's a good choice from them. They are using this in their combined videos. Actually, we don't need the video combined option from our DW post. So I'll turn that off. The safe option for frame rate is 16. Okay. Now let's choose some videos here. Let's find a demo and try it. Okay. Actually, I found the previous demo videos in SDXL Lightning where I created a videos to videos workflow using SDXL Lightning. And this is the same source video from there. The girl walking upstairs motion. Let's try this one. And for demo purposes, I'm just going to do 80 frame captures. It loads faster. I'm not going to create the whole length of this video. And it looks like we don't need to config or anything here. But one thing I noticed is that when we're using the sampling settings, even in SDXL Lightning and now in Animate Lightning, they both use the free noise type. So be aware of that. If you're creating a new workflow, follow these rules first, and then you can try other things later. Now let's look at their default text prompt. A beautiful girl dancing with long pink hair, blah blah blah. Since my video is about a girl walking upstairs, I'll change it to a beautiful girl walking upstairs. Let's give her purple hair and a black dress and tall buildings in the background. That sounds good. So we'll use this prompt and let's try it with the case sampler. We're using the X step model, so we'll change that. Yeah, it seems that the only good options for the sampler are Irula and the scheduler is SGM Uniform. Those are the recommended settings they have defined for these models. So let's choose our models and we can start. So X step is selected and it's good to go. Let's also check the open post. We have that as well. Everything looks good. I don't need to save the result here. Let's click and run. We can check the command prompts and it starts loading in the Yoho detector for post processing. That's going to be very fast. And we have the DW open post right here looking good. Wow, it's really fast. It jumps to the sampler in just one or two seconds. The model has already started here. It looks like this one is really fast. It's even faster than Element LCM, even though I set it to eight steps. Previously, I usually set Animate LCM to six steps, but the loading speed is not faster than this one. I would say Animate Diff Lightning is faster than Animate LCM. Yeah, and I usually test the frame low cap in the 80s. So there will be 80 images generated in the case sampler. Actually, that means it's pretty cool. One thing I realized is that they have the VAA decode batch, which is going to be four per batch. And that looks very cool. Yeah, not bad for one sample. For one case sampler to generate something like that is not bad at all. These are not realistic styles, guys. Remember, I am using this ref animate, so these are like cartoon animate styles for these videos. And they look very good. Like X-Step, 
What do you expect with one case sampler? It generates X step with this and only using DW post without anything else. The motions are created really smoothly. Well done. The legs and hips of the characters are actually turning from behind and going to the front. So yeah, these are very good models. So far we need to check and test more. Let's go for CFG higher. Actually, let's go to CFG2 and let's do some negative prompts like tax, watermarks, NSFW, uh, something like that. Then we can test one more time and see. Wow, it instantly goes to the case sampler without loading anything. I must say this one has a very good performance. The last generation took 59 seconds, not even one second for 80 image frames. Let's see what happens with this one. Okay, we have it done. The colors are more enhanced when we use CFG2. The black dress has a more solid weight and the top hair has a more solid color. Of course, we don't have a fixed background or some solid color backgrounds because there's nothing supporting it in the open post here. We also don't have any detailed text prompts, so the background won't be very clear, but that's okay. Let's see the timing. This time it took almost double the time just by changing the CFG to 2. It took 1 minute 46 seconds to generate these images videos. The only thing we changed was the CFG from 1 to 2, which took double the time. That's just the way it is. Now let's try out the videos to videos workflow that I did previously. It's the lightweight version of the Flickr free workflow, which also uses open post. But I did some enhancements to the sampling. I used two samplers instead of just one, like the demos from ByteDance. Let's see this one. And because last time we used this one for running free in it, so right now I don't need the free in it in here, we need this one, the free noise type. The only thing we have to change is here. We need to use Animate diff lightning instead of this one. And I'll keep the remaining parts the same, and the IP adapter will be the same. SD 1.5. And here at details, yeah, I have the LoRa motions that they mentioned. They said it's recommended to use motions LoRa. So I have that, which will be a benefit. I don't need the LCM LoRa here, so I can bypass this one. Hopefully, the bypass is working for this area. Yeah, there we go. We only have the open post right here, so let's try that. Let's change the videos and IP adapter to the demos we just did. Let's check it out. Okay, I found these videos again in this long list, and I finally selected the right one. And right here, I have the Golden Dress AI image that I usually use for demos. Last time, I used this video with the Golden Dress AI image in IP adapter combinations to change the characters into a golden dress and add beach backgrounds behind. Let's see how it compares to the previous testing we did with SDXL Lightning. Hopefully, this time it will be better quality than SDXL. Let's check it out and click the prompt. We'll wait for the result here. There you go. We have this result here using five steps. Actually, I forgot to configure it to eight steps, but then we got this result here. Obviously, the face is not clear, and this is another five steps that I forgot to configure when I loaded this workflow. It used to work well with animate diff with five steps. And this one is also okay, not very stunning, but okay. The output of this is actually better than SDXL Lightning when using the videos to videos method in Comfy UI. As you can see, the SDXL Lightning Comfy UI videos to videos workflow had blurry results. The 8 steps motions model performed well. The first sampling step took 52 seconds, and the second sampler took 2 minutes and 49 seconds on an NVIDIA 4090 graphics card. So far, both look very close in terms of output, and the second sampler has more color enhancement in the clothing and the backgrounds, making it similar to the reference image. So far, it looks good. If I increase the sampling steps to 8 and set the CFG to 1, which they claim is the best performing CFG, let's try another test with this workflow, videos to videos.
we'll use the same IP adapter reference image and the same video source as the motion movement for open post. Let's click run again and see the second test using sampling step 8 and CFG1. Actually, I have to cancel this and set the sampler to this and SGM uniform as the scheduler following the recommendations mentioned in the model card. Let's see what happens and compare the performance. Okay, we have the second test using sampling step 8, CFG1, and the sampler and scheduler settings recommended by Byte Dance. Both the first and second sampling groups use the same numbers, except for the Denoise, which I set to 0.65 due to the upscale, latent upscale. You can clearly see both are using XDEF CFG1 as it creates a darker color for both results. However, in the second sampling step, I prefer it more because it looks more natural in terms of color. The faces start to show more details with the second sampling step. You can use Segmentation Sampler to focus on making the face details using segmentations and detailers in another group. However, that would be a full-blown version of the videos-to-videos -videos workflow. In this case, I kept it simple by using two sampling groups to enhance the quality. So far, these eight steps perform pretty well, but there are some issues with the legs and the dress doesn't stay consistent. In the first half second, it appears as a long dress due to the low CFG setting. However, in the source image, it's a short dress. The speed of using CFG1 doesn't really matter. It just becomes a little faster. This is the result. The first sampling step took 46 seconds, and the second sampling step took 2 minutes and 13 seconds. It's a bit faster than the first time we tried with CFG 1.5 and sampling step 6. But overall, it's better than SDXL Lightning, especially when using a low sampling step. Now, let's compare this result with the first one we did using higher CFG, but forgetting to configure the sampling. This one is from CFG1, sampling step 8. The colors are a little darker and the clothing doesn't look as golden or stylish. Let's open it up again. This one is, well, the colors aren't really bright or sharp to me, but if I use CFG 1.5 with sampling step 6, this one actually looks better. This is the first test I did in the second sampling group. The colors are brighter and there's some lightning effect like sunlight shining from the top. It looks a bit better with more detail and more animations happening in the backgrounds. So we are going to try out the videos to videos full workflow versions of the animated. The one that I created and this one I am going to use three control nets, death map, DW post and animate control net. And then I'm going to choose another image for IP adapter here. So this time I'm going to use this cosplay for the Japanese animate character. And also we are going to use this concert stage as the background. Let's hide this one because we don't need to do face swap at this moment and we don't do upscaling. So the main purpose of this video is to test the sampling performance and also the detail segmentation detailers and how it's going to look using Animate Lightning. So in here, the lower loader for Animate LCM, we are going to change that as well later. So first of all, we need to change the frame, the image frames. Let's set it to 60 just for demo purposes. And let's try not starting from the beginning. We need to start in the middle of this video and see how it goes. So again, this is generation for Animate LCM. So first, I'm going to generate one with Animate LCM. Now, this is in 1 minute 2 seconds, and this is how it performs using Animate LCM. With Animate LCM LoRa, it is quite usual, the smoothness and overall the character is so clean, although it is not too much in the realism styles, even though we are using the realistic visions checkpoint models. But then, that's okay, because LCM usually performs this kind of level in the first and the second sampling. Now we are going to try the Animate Lightning X-Step Motions model. And here we need to set the other settings as well for this motion models.
we need to disable this animate LCM LoRa because there is no need for this when using the lightning. And actually, we need something to run this for the additional settings. So I'm going to change that. Now I'm going to use the new Gen 2 animated loader so that I can enable this free noise type for this motion models. Okay, so once again, let's check one more time. Everything good to go and we can wait for the result. So the first one is starting. As you can see, it's quite fast. The performance overall of this animate lightning is fast in generation. So this is the previous one. Let's open it up in another tab first. This is the animate LCM. While we are waiting the loading, I want to bring this out and we can see the comparison later. Let's bring this one into another tab along with the face detailer groups. I'm going to save this file so we can check it side by side for comparison. Now here's the first sampling steps of both Animate LCM and Animate Lightning. And this is the detailer sampling groups result from both motion models as well. And one more time, let's check it one more time. This is Animate LCM, first sampling and detailer sampling. Both of them are very clean, no noise in between the background and the characters. On the other hand, Animate Lightning is not quite as good actually compared with the Animate LCM. So you get an idea of what is going on and what you should use in animations. Now here's the final one that I used for Animate Diff version 3 motion models that are using LCM, LoRa only. Although it takes a longer time to generate in the process, the final result, well, you see result tell the truth. And I think for animation, we want quality. Even an AI model got 10 or 30 seconds faster, but losing a lot of detail. I guess no one wants that, right? So I guess you guys can analyze it for yourselves. What should you use? Don't just follow the hype of the trend, the release of new models, and rush to use them. Instead, based on your requirements and expectations, think about how detailed you want to go and find your own answer. So I will see you guys in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye.